what is parameter sweep in multisim? Now, parameter sweep can be very useful, especially when you're trying to design a circuit. Right. So let's take this circuit for an example. And I want to measure the current going through R2 from top to bottom. Let's say if I am, note that I'm running this in interactive simulation mode. So when I start the simulation, I can see the current going through R1 is 0.385 uh, milliamps. Okay. So now as an engineer, you are asked to, you know, set the value of R4 such that the current through R2 is exactly 500 milliamps or, or sorry, or 0.5 milliamps or 500 microamps. Right now, the current is 385 microamps and your task is to change R4 value so that the current through R2 is 500 microamps. Okay, so let's see. So first of all, you know, while you're starting to do this, you're not even sure if that is possible. Okay, now there are given some circumstances that may not be possible if you don't have enough voltage, for example, that may not be possible, but let's assume that it may be it is possible. Okay, so let's see what happens. You know, the one in you know, a straightforward way to do is okay, try and you know, guess some different values of R4 uh, and you know, see what happens, right? And maybe the more uh, the that you know, the ideal way to do this would be actually analyze the circuit and get the current through R2 as a formula in fun in terms as a function of R4 and then do the inverse function for the say, you know, for the value you want, right? But right now we want to just do you know, use the simulator instead of doing theoretical analysis of the circuit, we just want to use a simulator uh, to see if we can design the circuit to meet the specifications, okay? And the specifications are we want 500 microamps through R2. So let's see what happens. Let's say if I reduce R4 from, from 1k to let's say 0.5k. Okay, I change that and I run the simulation and it seems to have gone down, right? So from, so if I have 1k, 1k, I have 385 microamps and 0.5k and run this. I have 357, so it went down a little bit. So it means if I want 500 microamps, I obviously have to, maybe not obviously, but maybe I have to actually increase R4, not decrease, right? Because I'm saying not obviously because maybe it decreases first and then increases, I don't know, right? So uh, that's the problem with, you know, doing trial and error because you don't know a lot of things about what's going on, you're just, you know, messing around, right? So. So let's see, let's assume that maybe it's a monotonic function and then if I keep decreasing R4, maybe the current through R2 keeps decreasing. I don't know, maybe, right? So let's let's do the other way. I'm gonna go to 2K and then run the interaction. Yeah, so run the simulation and I have 426 micrograms. So it seems like I'm getting somewhere. So I increased from one to two and it went from 380 to 426, right? Okay, let me go up further. Let's say 3K, what happens when I have 3K? Right, so, and then I run the simulations. I have 455. Okay, so I can keep going and then it seems like if I keep increasing, maybe the current through R2 is increasing and I keep doing random trials until until I get the value I want, right? So depending on the situation, you can see this may take quite a while. And I'm not even sure actually if it will reach 500 microamps. Maybe it will asymptote somewhere below that, I don't know. So. The best way to do this, you know, if you want to change, if you know, I want to see what happens to the current at R2 as I'm changing the resistance R4, the best way to do that is use the par parameter sweep, uh, uh, you know, the, the parameter sweep tool in Multisim. Okay, so now parameter sweep is a different mode of simulation. So where Multisim will change the values of R4 for you and measure the current through R2. Okay. So let's go back then open the sim, you know, analysis and simulation window here. And I'm gonna select the parameter sweep uh, mode. All right, so first, you know, not that sweep parameters. What do you want to change? I want to change R4 value, right? Or I want to change the resistance value of R4. So device type resistor, name R4, yes. Uh, and then I can select any other value, uh, resistors too, I'm selecting R4. And I want to change resistance and then there's several other parameters. Most of the times we will just use resistance. Okay. And I want to say, say, okay, start at 1K, end at 10 kilo ohms. 
uh, number of points, you know, 100 points, so that's fine. Uh, and so, and then more options in analysis to sweep. So when you change resistors, what do you want to, sim, uh, you know, uh, sim, multi-sim to do? I can do several different things, AC sweep, DC sweep, transient, uh, AC sweep, transient analysis, or DC operating point. Here, I want to look at the DC current going through R2. So that's a DC operating point. Okay, and then I say run. And then I have something like this. Okay, so let me change the background to uh, background to white. Okay, um, so this is the curve, right? X-axis is the resistance. X-axis is the resistance in R4, and Y-axis is the current through R2, right? And the point was to say, okay, uh, first of all, you can see, all right, it's not a you know maybe a linear increasing curve. It is actually a concave curve, right? Uh, but it does, it does, you know, it, it seems to be reaching 520, so it does reach 500 somewhere, all right? And I want to know exactly where, right? Then cursors can be very useful here. And I can move the cursor to, you know, until my Y1 is exactly 500, like that. So Y1 is exactly 500. I, you know, I can do that. Or another simple way to do this, right click on the cursor, so you can say set Y value greater than or equal to. I want y to be greater than or equal to 500 microamps so it will find the x value the, the closest x value where the y value is greater than equal to 500 micro so there you go it's already selected for me so i can see when y1 is exactly 500 micro my x1 is 5.5002k so maybe 5.2 5.5k right so that's what it tells me so i go back let's say i change this to 5.5k and let's see, I'm go, I want to go back to my interactive simulation and see if my calculations are correct. And now it is exactly 500 micro, right? So now, as you can see, if I did trial and error, it may have taken me quite a while to get the specifications required. But if I use parameter sweep, Multisim will do this error trials for you, and then you can just pick the value you want. Okay, so that's basically what parameter sweep is.